Hey everybody, I'm trying to answer your guys' questions as the best way that I know how and to make sure that I um, discuss everything and don't miss any categories. So today I'm going to be talking about bolus. Um, I'm going to talk about bolus deliveries, the different types of boluses, um, just kind of gathering some information out of my 770G's user guide to make sure that I provide the most accurate information to you. And I'm going to also use some of my personal examples for what works best with me to kind of give you my user opinion of these. So if you see me looking over this direction, I'm just kind of referencing the user guide um, on my iPad. Um, and I will use my Apple Pencil, sorry, with my hand gestures. So um, first of all, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, make sure and you hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps these videos um, get pushed out by YouTube for other diabetics to see. And that's what I'm trying to hopefully accomplish is to help other people um, and just provide some input <clears throat> and some support with some different helps and tricks um, uh, with uh, everybody. So let's get started. So a bolus. A bolus is the amount of insulin taken to cover an expected rise in blood glucose or blood or BG, typically when you eat a meal or snack. You also use a bolus to correct a high BG reading. So um, there are several different types of boluses that you can use uh, depending on your insulin needs at the time. There are also different ways that you can deliver a bolus um, with Medtronic pumps. So uh, make sure that if you have any questions about anything that I cover in this video, you discuss discuss it with your healthcare professional to determine what's best for your needs. Um, some of these features I've used personally and I truly love, and some of them I've never had any experience with. So I'm just going to kind of break things down. So to get started, bolus types. You have a normal bolus, which is a um, bolus that provides a single immediate dose of insulin. Um, then you have a square wave bolus, which uh, delivers a single bolus uh, distributed evenly over an extended period of time between 30 minutes and 8 hours. Um, and then a dual wave bolus delivers a combination of immediate normal bolus followed by a square wave over a period of time. So uh, the, to provide you examples of these, the normal bolus would be if I'm going to eat a granola bar for 15 grams of carbs, I program in my bolus wizard, which we'll discuss a little later in the video, the 15 grams of carbs. And for example, my pump recommends five units of insulin. That would be a normal bolus. When I follow through with that and I take that insulin, I'm taking all that insulin at one time to cover my snack, the granola bar or a meal. Um, a dual wave bolus is similar to a normal bolus, it just does two boluses over a period of time. So let's say I eat something like some pizza and I know that that pizza is typically 60 grams of carbs. I want half of that bolus now and I want the other half of that bolus, let's say in an hour. That gives me time for me to eat the food and it start to get into my digestive system and then that second wave of bolus hits to kind of help to, uh, take care of that high that I could experience from all of my insulin being delivered at one time. It kind of separates it a little bit and delivers it over two different periods. The, um, you can adjust the amount of insulin uh, percentage-wise and get more now or more later, whatever your user need is um, and what you feel is comfortable with the food item that you're eating. The square wave bolus is similar to a dual wave bolus, except I believe the square wave bolus provides boluses four different times over a time period of between 30 minutes at the minimum or eight hours. So for the same scenario, if we're eating some pizza and we want square wave boluses of equal percentages over let's say two hours, then I'll get a bolus now a bolus in 30 minutes, a bolus in an hour, and then a bolus in an, an hour and a half, something similar to that. Um, or it could be the first bolus is in 30 minutes, and then another one in an hour, and an hour and a half, and then two hours. The point of a square wave bolus is you got to think if a square has four sides, it's four different boluses. That's the kind of way I look at it, and it's that insulin delivered over a period of time in increments instead of one bulk thing of uh 
delivery of insulin like a normal bolus would be. I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, sorry, my hand gestures. I, I talk with my hands. I'm sorry. So the bolus feature um, in our pump. I kind of referenced earlier, um, can be used for a normal bolus, a square wave bolus, or a dual wave bolus. And that's based on the information that's set up in your pump, mostly your carb ratio. Um, your pump looks at your carb ratio and does the math for the user and um, tells you how much insulin you need for the amount of carbs that you're going to intake. An auto mode bolus... Um, looks at your micro boluses for when you're in auto mode and the carbs that you're going to eat and it gives a recommended amount of insulin. Um, yes, so if it's for what carbs that you plan to eat and it's, excuse me, also for your corrections. So auto mode, it's similar. It goes through the bolus wizard, um, but it's looking at the insulin delivery that the pump has given you. Um, while you're in auto mode. So it's very similar to the normal bolus. It's just looking at auto mode's algorithm so that way it doesn't accidentally give you too much insulin. Um, that's why if you notice your sugar's high and auto mode might be recommending 0.2 units to bring your sugar down and then you exit auto mode and do the bolus wizard as a correction to bring your sugar down and it gives you a lot more insulin, that is the difference between um, the normal bolus wizard, and then the auto mode bolus wizard, that kind of the, what the pump's looking at there. Um, you can do a manual bolus in manual mode, um, which allows you to do a normal square, um, square wave bolus or dual wave bolus, and that's basically me as the user saying, I need this amount of insulin without carbs involved, um, and give it to me over which method I choose. And then finally, a preset bolus, um, is a normal bolus for an item. So let's say breakfast, if I am in a routine and my breakfast is always 30 grams of carbs, I can set that as a preset in my pump. And when I click it, it automatically gives me the insulin that I need. That is available in a normal bolus, a square wave bolus, or the dual wave bolus. And I can set that up within the pump settings. I personally do not use this um, type of bolus. Um, I... If I could program in it uh, like different restaurant items that I typically eat, for example, there's a place that um, I often eat and I really enjoy their, um, um, it's kind of a roast beef sandwich. If I could program that in there and put what I normally have for that meal, that would be my, my ideal thing for a preset bolus. I know that's a lot of work, but it would be an easy thing for me to do as a user. And then like, let's say we're on our way to the restaurant, I could click that meal, go ahead and get my insulin delivery started or the form of delivery uh, method that works best for that meal, have that all information saved in the pump. That would be amazing, but that's not the way that this is set up. So I don't necessarily use it. And then the finally method, the final, um, delivery method is the easy bolus feature. Um, that, from what I've read, is used with the up arrow on the pump to where you can press and hold the up arrow and it gives um, bolus uh, while the pump's in sleep mode. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I've tried to play with this feature. I couldn't quite get it to work. I kind of confused myself um, with what it was supposed to do, so I don't use that feature. But um, it's something for you guys to look into if you're interested and talk with your healthcare team about. Um, and see if it's worked for you. So um, I'm gonna touch on a couple parts of a bolus and how they're set up in, my, in the pump really quick. And um, then I'll wrap up the video. So the max bolus is the maximum that you're allowed to take with a bolus. I believe my pump personally is maxed out at 25 units. So when I bolus for my carbs, um, the maximum it'll allow me to give is 25 units. And if I need to do more than that, I'll have to do a separate bolus. Um, bolus increment is uh, the amount of insulin units that's increased or decreased with a button press. Um, that's customizable within the delivery settings of your pump, as well as the max bolus if you wanted to lower it below 25 units of insulin. And then finally, the bolus speed. There is a normal and there is a fast. The fast bolus speed um, gives, uh, I think, almost three units of insulin a minute. Um, it's pretty fast. Um, it's painful. Um, 
I'm not 100% sure how some people get that to work. I have tried to use it. Uh, from my research, the bolus speed at a higher level is supposed to make the insulin act a little faster. Um, but I typically experience pain with it and um, it'll also cause my sites to, to mess up, start leaking and not working correctly. So that's the experience I have with that. So I typically leave my pump on normal, which I know if you're doing a large bolus with 25 units of insulin, that's a lot and it takes it uh, a good amount of time, I think like 10 plus minutes to deliver that bolus. But um, that's just the way that my pump is set up. So um, in the settings that I like. So if this video was helpful and you guys liked it and you have questions on other parts of the pump, please shoot me a direct message on my Just the Diabetic Facebook page or leave a comment on this video and I'll try my best to um, create a video on this topic uh, to try to provide some quick and in uh, accurate information for you guys. Um, so like I said earlier, if you like the video and you like what you see on my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that way you stay updated with new videos and um, let me know how things are going for you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.